This is episode 13 of the Paris Jones Show. I'm your host, Paris Jones. Let's get into it. Today's episode is something that I've seen a lot on social media, um, and I wanted to give my take on it. Uh, and it has to do with when you're chosen by God, people will team up to take you out, sometimes literally. A lot of times when you are chosen by God, you have God in you. People of the world, people who are not of God, people who are used by Satan, sometimes even religious spirits type of people, they will come together, conspire together to try and take you out because of their dislike for you and the God in you. You have to understand that a lot of times when people are easily controlled by Satan because of the way their lifestyle is, the way they're living, or they're just their lack of knowledge, their ignorance, they will do anything it takes to take you out. And a lot of times because they know how powerful you are and how powerful the God is in you, they can't approach you alone. So they have to get other people in order to try to take you down. And this can happen in several different places. This can happen um, in a job environment. This can happen in a church. This can happen among friend groups. You have people that come together, try to tear you down, try to tear down your character, try to uh, take away your confidence because they see you're radiating too much. Your, your, your light is too bright for them, so they got to dumb you down in a way. Um, they try to get you out of character. They try to plant seeds of doubt in you and what you're doing. And also, they try to plant seeds of doubt when it comes to how other people perceive you. They try to change uh, other people's perception of you because they don't like what you are and who you represent. You see, when you're a child of God, a lot of times you can repel people without even knowing it, energetically, spiritually. You can repel people who cannot be around you. They're like, oh man, this person's spirit is like, just how we kind of are repelled by people with demonic spirits or bad spirits, it's the same way with them. It's just the opposite, right? And so they gotta find some way to make you look bad, to bring you down to their level. Right. And you have to watch out for that. And they also try to come at your self-esteem um, because you're designing so bright. And a lot of times you have to understand that a lot of people in this world, a lot of people on this earth are fighting demons. Right. They're fighting demons from something that happened maybe a long time ago and they never let it go. They got burned by one too many people. And a lot of people are too prideful to go to God about stuff. They refuse to go to God. They refuse to take accountability for stuff they've done to other people. They refuse to have a sense of authority over them when it comes to their life. They don't want to follow God because, oh, you know, that God felt that's too many rules, this and that. Who is he to tell me this? Um, so they'll come up with any way to not only dismiss you, but to dismiss God's word, right? We see this all the time. And so that's something you have to watch out for as well. Now, people could be upset because you as a chosen one also are not conforming to society norms like they are. When people, when you break out of this matrix, <laughs> when you break out of this matrix, man, you're going to have so many people that target you at once. Like, and it's almost like a, a, a beacon goes off, right? It's like a beacon goes off that alerts them saying, hey, this person is trying to break out of this. We've got we've to do something about it. So then you'll have family members, you'll have friends, you'll have coworkers, you'll have all these people in a way, like try to get you off, try to make it seem like you don't know what you're talking about and that you're crazy, right? Because you are seeing the world for how it is. You're taking those rose colored glasses off, like we've talked about before, and they have to find any way to bring you back into the programming, right? because you're trying to change your frequency, you're trying to change the programming, and they don't want that to happen. Because a lot of times, if you do that, they feel like they have to do it as well. And a lot of times people are not trying to do that. They, they like things the way they are. They like the programming the way it is. And so if they see somebody trying to get out of it, they've got to either find a way to bring you back in or take you out. And sometimes that means permanently. Um, and we see an example of this in the book of Daniel, in the Bible, with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right? And we, a lot of us know that story. Um, in the situation, you had King Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon, and he made this golden statue. 
and he commanded the people in Babylon to worship the statue or else they will be sent to the fiery furnace. And this furnace was not one where you could survive, basically. It was that um, hot. And we know the story that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego um, did not worship the statue. Uh, of course, they were followers of the Most High, chosen ones. And the Bible says a group of people basically snitched on them and told the king that they did not worship the statue. So what happened next? The king um, ordered them to be sent to the furnace. And it was crazy because they were also working for the king, but it didn't matter. You see, you have people watching and plotting on you, waiting to see if there's something that they can get you with. Is there something at work they can, they can oh, oh, I'm writing this down. He did this. Uh, she did this. I got to take this to the boss. You have those work snitches. This is what it is. They're trying to take you down financially. Um, you have um, people in the church, you know, plotting like, oh, she wore this today. He wore this today. Oh, he didn't come in to church till this time. They were late for church today. You know, you have people just watching and plotting you, watching your social media to see what you're doing, to see who they can report this to to try to take you down and make it seem like you aren't who you say you are. You have to really watch out for these people. Anyways, getting back to the story, um, of course, the plans did not work. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego made it out of that furnace unscathed, unscratched, and um, because they follow God. And that's what you have to understand. When you set apart by God, what does the Bible say? Touch not my anointed, right? So you're going to have situations where people will try to take you down, but if you are following God, you're following his commandments, it's it's not going to work. It's going to fail. And we see this a lot. They, these people might hurt you, but they won't be able to kill you. And it's crazy because like, take for instance, let's do, let's do the workplace, right? This is something a lot of people can relate to. In the workplace, you have one person, you start off, one person doesn't like you, right? That person is going to now try to convince other people that you are the bad person because they don't like you. And it could be for any reason, man, you might be more attractive than them. You know, they might be dealing with something at home and they got to take it out to somebody at work. Uh, they don't like how others see you. They don't like how you're in a position that they wanted to be in all their lives and you got there way before them. Um, and so they'll try to convince other people that you're a bad person, you're a bad employee. And this is like when the rumors start, they'll try to make it seem like you aren't the person that you are portraying yourself to be. And again, you're not really trying to portray anything. You're just being you, but they just don't believe it. They don't want to believe that you are who you say you are. When they start conspiring with their other coworkers, you just have to really watch how these people move, man. They'll, they'll watch what you say, watch what you do around them, and also keep your own notes for when these people interact with you, man. One of the things I've had to do, I had to do in my last job, I had to document everything. You know, I had to document what people would say, um, the things people would do that they didn't do for other people um, and try ways they tried to sabotage me in my work. And this is what happens when you're chosen by God. Um, these people will join up together. Your coworkers will get together literally in groups and try to take you out, try to get you off the job. They're all watching you in some different way. Um, and that's something that you have to watch out for. I've seen this in churches. They'll get together with other members of the church and try to make it uncomfortable for you in order to get you out of there. It's like very high school is very cliquish in the church among women um, who are in this group and they don't like a, another particular woman. Also happens in friend groups, man. Uh, you know, you'll have one friend call another friend behind your back and, and say like, so-and-so did this, so-and-so said this. And a lot of times they want the other person to co-sign their negative feelings about you because you have that God spirit in you, right? They, it's something about you they don't like and they just can't really pinpoint it. They don't know how to even say it. They just don't like something about you. And so they have to try to convince the other friends in that group to not like you either. And a lot of times it's, I found out it's just projection, right? It's just, they're projecting things onto you that they feel inside their insecurities. And so they got to bring those up to other people in the group and they'll conspire to take you out too. And sometimes it's literally, they'll try to delete you from this earth, you know, unalive you. Never underestimate how far people will go to take down God's chosen ones, people who are following God on this earth. Look what they did to Jesus, right? And if it happened to him, what makes you think that you're going to be resistant to that sort of treatment too, right? So you have to just be cognizant of people 
who know you have God in you, who see it, they do not like you. <laughs> they don't like you. And you have to really watch out for it because some of these people will would prefer if you were deleted, if you were unalive on this earth, because that's just how much the Satan in them just, just despises you. People's spirits are not right sometimes, you know, and because of that, they will come after you.